Hey guys, Dalton here, back with another episode of DC Collects. Super excited for today's video, guys. I'm going to show you my entire 10-inch Funko Pop collection. So, let's get right into it, guys. Starting off, guys, we have my biggest pop by far. This is the Galactus and Silver Surfer. Definitely going to unbox these for you guys. Yeah, I really like this one. There's also a Blacklight version. Come on. There's also a Blacklight version um, of this Funko Pop. I like the original, though, because it actually shows their comic book actual colors. The black light, kind of hard to tell if the Silver Surfer is even in the box, in my opinion. So as you guys can see, this is a super sick pop, guys. Huge, huge pop. It just kind of sucks that Marvel still does the bobble head with the 10 inches because this is a massive head and it's just bobbling all over the place here. Also, while I'm complaining about this pop, I'll <laughs> complain more. Silver Surfer is supposed to go in his hand, but it's very, like, you can you can get it to balance, but it's not for very long, so. But, there's the Silver Surfer, guys. He's about the size of, a, like, a pocket pop, I would say, but still pretty cool. And I like the design, how he's supposed to rest in his hand. You just have to be careful where you set them up so they're not falling on the ground and breaking on you. But, yeah, I really enjoy that one. Fantastic for her. It's also one of my favorite MC... Well, it will be an MCU... Uh, an upcoming MCU installment, if I can spit that out. Um, Kevin Feige did announce that Fantastic Four will definitely be coming to the MCU, so look out for all the pops to be on the rise in price if you want to if you want to get any fantastic four pops i suggest you get them before they come to the mcu because they always seem to rise in price next up though guys we have the iron man mark 43 this is definitely my favorite 10 inch pop Iron Man from Age of Ultron, Avengers Age of Ultron, and this one does glow in the dark, guys, so I'll give you a little shot of that now. Really enjoy that pop, though. Super detailed, wicked showpiece. Very nice. Next up, on to our... Jurassic Park collection. This is actually Jurassic World Dominion. So this is the Gigantosaurus. I wasn't really a huge fan of the new engineered dinosaurs in this new saga of Jurassic Park movies, but I do get that they just had to make them as entertaining as possible. And they brought back the Raptors and the T-Rex, which everybody loves anyway. So. A little bit different on this pop, though. They have a tab. Pop boxes everywhere. And actually, this is a really cool pop out of box, guys. Yeah, so this is a super sick pop, guys. Super detailed. Dinosaurs, dragons. I kind of, kind of love the, love them all. Prehistoric stuff, I guess. It's pretty cool to think that these actually walk the earth one day. Not this one because it's genetically modified, but super cool. I'm also gonna give you guys a shot of all of these pops out of box, all standing together, guys. Because even as I'm putting them on my table here, it looks super dope. So, here's the T-Rex, guys. This is a Walmart exclusive. Super excited to show you this one out of the box. T-Rex is so iconic. I 
And I do love in the first Chris Pratt installment of Jurassic World when the T-Rex and Raptor gang up on the, the Indo-Raptor, or their first creation anyway, when they team up on him and fight. I, I thought that was awesome. And then the Mosasaurus comes out of the water and snatches him up. Pretty sick. Anyways, guys, here is the T-Rex. <laughs> this guy's super sick. They did a great job with these ones, I think. Love the T-Rex. Very nice. Looks great next to the, <laughs> to the Gigantosaurus. Okay, let's go into a Pokemon pop here, guys. So we've got the 10-inch Lucario. I believe this was a Walgreens exclusive. I'm not even too sure, guys. Actually, I think it's GameStop. And I got it from GameStop, so I'm not sure why it has a special edition sticker, but... I didn't want to pass this one up. It looks super cool out of the box as well. Lucario, guys. <laughs> super cool. My only Pokemon 10 inch pop. A pretty cool one. It looks like his head moves actually, too, so that's pretty cool. And he does have a base to help him stand up, so. Get that lined up for you guys shot after. Okay. Got a couple Harry Potter pots here for you guys. So my fiance is a huge Harry Potter fan. So these are both hers. But these are super cool. They're almost two figures in one, kind of like the Galactus and Silver Surfer. With his pet Phoenix Fox Fox. Oh, yeah. That's super nice Fox. So there is Alvis Dumbledore with Fox. Really cool pop, guys. Yeah, really enjoy that one. Did a great job on his glasses. Everything, really. Beard, super detailed. Yeah, that is a nice, nice pop. And then, of course, you can't have Albus without Voldemort. So there's Voldemort, guys. Again, it's kind of like two pops in one because they did the same thing and they put the snake and the with him. So there he is, guys. Again, super detailed. And the guinea draped around his body is just super dope. Like, that is a spooky, scary looking pop, man. Super sick. Love that pop. You do have to be kind of selective with the 10 inch pops that you do get too, guys, because obviously they take up the most room. So, also, guys, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Not only will it tell YouTube that you enjoy videos like this, but it'll help out my channel. So, it'll help us both out, guys. I appreciate it. Last pop we have here, guys, another Walmart exclusive, and this is the Zombie Black Panther. The zombie pops aren't super popular right now, guys, but again, there is a confirmed Marvel Zombies. I'm not sure whether it's going to be a Disney Plus show. I can't remember. It's, I don't think it's going to be a movie, but it'll be an installment. And again, all of these pops will get popular, so. 
I more or less just tell you to warn you in case you want to buy some of these things because they can quickly get out of reach. Oh, and the lovely bobblehead. Yes. Still super sick though, guys. His one leg is like completely gone. It's just a skeleton sitting in a pool of, I guess that's zombie ooze. But he yeah, has super, super detailed pop. And I actually really like this one. I do have a few of the four inch zombie ones as well. And that'll be in a future video for sure, guys. So, yeah, I'll just set these pops up and give you guys a quick shot of them all together. So here they are, guys, in all of their glory. They look really sick. Elvis and Voldemort together. Looking super sick. And Iron Man. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and we'll catch you in the next one.